Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Richie Storytime. Today we'll be reading the 4th of July story. The 4th of July story. This is the story of Independence Day, the 4th of July. The birthday of our country. It was the 4th of July in the city of Philadelphia more than 200 years ago. Children who lived near the state house must have seen the candles lighted there on that stormy afternoon. Something wonderful was happening in Philadelphia this 4th of July in, seven, in 1776. It was the birthday of our country. After that, the children were often to hear the voice of the bell that hung in the tower of the state house. Once, he even woke them at three o'clock in the morning, and the bell always seemed to say, Liberty throughout the land, liberty to all the people. The Story of Freedom This was how it happened. This is why the Liberty Bell spoke to the people. Our country was always not the big nation it is now. The land was there, and the rivers and the mountains, the lakes and the forests. Part of it still belonged to the Indians who lived here for a long, long time. Part of it had been settled by the pe people from Britain and other countries across the ocean. On the East Coast, there were 13 colonies that belonged to Britain. Each one was like a little separate country. Each had its own name. Virginia was the place where the first Englishmen had landed and made their homes. The Pilgrims had, land, had landed in Massachusetts. There came a time when some of the 13 colonies did not want to belong to Britain or to the English king. They did not think that the men across the streets would make any laws or rules for them. They, want, they wanted to make all their own laws to be free and independent. So they began to feel more like one country instead of 13 colonies but it was still some time before they would learn t that they would must all work together. People came together in many places to talk about being free and independent. On some village greens, they raised liberty poles as a sign that they wanted freedom. Indian country? Massachusetts? Maine? District, New Hampshire, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware. In this picture, people have gathered around to raise the Liberty Pole. Men made fiery speeches that everyone remembered. In the colony of Virginia, Patrick Henry made a speech that ended, Give me liberty or give me that. No one could forget those words. The English king wanted to keep his American colonies. Many people in the American colonies still wanted to belong to Britain. Some of the leaders on both sides tried hard to work things out so, so that there would not be war. But at last, the king sent warships and soldiers to the city of Boston. The first shots were fired at Lexington and Concord in Massachusetts. 
Now the 13 colonies knew that they must work together. Men from all the colonies came riding to a meeting in the State House in Philadelphia. They called themselves the Congress because Congress means coming together. It was a wonderful day when Richard Henry Lee of the Virginia stood before the Congress and said that these United Colonies are free and independent states. A general had to be chosen to lead the army, so the Congress chose Colonel George Washington of Virginia. A gentleman from Virginia, well known to all of us, tall, serious George Washington, in his handsome uniform, told the Congress that he was proud to be chosen. Then he went to take command of the army. The men who represented 13 colonies talked a long time and thought a long time trying to decide whether they could be free and independent states. There was thoughtful talk and angry talk, but they were beginning to agree. They chose a committee of five men to write down the things they believed in and all the reasons why they had wanted to be free. It would be a Declaration of Independence. Writing the Declaration The committee